No, we didn't. Oh, we didn't. Didn't know what I was talking about. Here we are again. Evening, dudes and Judettes. Chicks and chicos and dudes and yeah. Welcome back. We are following some instrument tutorials. It's Friday night. We've been busy on the deck and busy in the garden too. And busy at the other job. And yeah, been, he's actually working pretty steady it has been again. A very hot week. Yes, muggy as well, man. The last couple of days, there's thunder bumpers moving, and I can I can feel them coming. It was 96 <coughs> yesterday. No kid. Wow. 96. I'm glad I live in the woods and don't have a thermostat. <laughs> so we're doing a big shout out to our Merlin Dutch Bros. Absolutely. These things are cold. They feel helping, good. Helping us keep us cool in these hot weathers. Uh, yeah, no fooling. Thank you, Dutch Brothers. Oh. <laughs> anyway, we got all the new. Lots oh, yeah. of plants. We got mm -hmm. lots of new new life going on in the garden here. Another side plant coming up good. Cool. Oh, yeah, we have 11 gnome candy plants growing right now. And uh, one Girl Scout cookie plant. It's actually doing pretty good. I think the uh, I actually think the gnome candy plants are going to catch up with the Girl Scout cookie plant, oh, probably. which is which is what I'm hoping for. Well, right? they don't have to turn around like she did, so. right? So but, that'll but yeah, she, she turned happen. around. I topped her. Uh, she's doing pretty good. She's starting to fill out now. We're gonna go ahead and clean her after a little bit. Yeah, and uh, it won't take long. A couple minutes. Yeah. Francis, what is up, my friend? First on the chat. Good evening. Happy Friday. Send us some pictures, bro. We're just about ready for another video of some more feedback from all like of our me. subscribers that are growing the gnome candy. We like those. And how they're doing outside. And I found our seeds. <laughs> yes. No, oh, don't be me. Found our seeds. Yeah. He just got too high. No, he, he got, got too not. high. That's all he did. <laughs> Glenn, what is up, my friend? Adam, oh. Adam Chan, hello from Canada. Very good. What's up? What's going hello, on, up Jerry? There? How's the how's the weather up in Canada? My brother said it snowed up there a few days ago. In Canada? In Alaska, where he was. Alaska. Yeah. Well, that's good thing. Good thing his, plan, good thing his <laughs> plants are inside. Yeah. He's got some nice. He's got some nice planters. Yes, he does. In there. The freezer's a good idea. He's, if anybody yeah. noticed that. <laughs> the, those freezer boxes? Yeah. Hell He's yeah. got big holes like this in the bottom with like mesh covered over them, you know, so it keeps stuff from totally falling out. So I just yeah. tilt them just a little bit so all the water drains Runs and in. drains down it. That's, that's right. actually really good. Two idea. plants to a freezer. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it is. You use so that's a good way that's, to use necessity as a mother of invention. Yeah. And he had a lot of those things around there, too, man. Yeah, yeah they did. So, yeah. <laughs> Good Francis, evening, Joe. Send them tomorrow. Sweet. I'll be looking for them in the emails. Sherry, cool. hello. I just seen the pictures you sent me. Looking fantastic. Let's see. I'll show my father right here, yeah, too. I seen I've been too busy yeah. in the garden today. This is actually kind of like slowing down. You know, it's, it's been there's one of them days that's kind of the hurrier warm. you go, the behinder you get. Very nice. One from Sherry. She might want to get it up a little bit. No, they look really good and symmetrical. And yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Sherry, as of right now, of what we can see, what do you say? Maybe the, the maybe the bottom. Yeah, yeah. The bottom set of branches. Look at them. If one's kind of big and one's kind of scrawny, just take the pair. You want to get your your branches up. If you look up the stem a little bit, the next couple sets of le of limbs are going to be pretty close to the same size. And probably bigger than the bottom set, so so I, I think that I just helps the air get around underneath them. I think I see four limbs that are down near the ground. You're going to want to take those off. Yeah, whether you like it or not, mm -hmm. Do, doing it now is is the time it, to do it. Better because I mean, your plant, you're not even going to notice after yeah. after you cut those. Yeah, um, give it a week to yeah. to two weeks, and yeah. you won't even be able to tell you cut those limbs. Yeah. Um, you'll um, see uh, I cleaned our garden and stuff out as well as what we had on the deck and, and our plants in the pots were this big, you know, but still I cleaned them out pretty good as to what they need to be and you'll be able to see what we've done. So it's very pretty. I love the top view of the gnome candy. 
I want an umbrella with that on it. <laughs> you know? In fact, we might make it, but it's going to be a little spendy. I think but so. I think we're going to have to. Idea. We're going to have to at least make one. They do have three custom umbrella companies out they there. They do. Oh, cool. And, uh, I've got some good pictures of. Just yeah, have have our own, known candy umbrella. A uh, straight down shot of one of our one of our known candy plants, and, and just be on have like it a four printed, foot umbrella. Have it printed out on a on an umbrella. It's just that, that'd be that'd a be bad badass. badass. <laughs> Hell yeah, Joe Joe Mar Morales Morales Morales. Hello from Kansas City. Mary Mountains out in the back. Nice. Cool. What's up? We're going slow. From the East Coast, weather is good. This is the week most people put their plants in the ground. That's nice. right. That's right. So, we're, we're and yes, Sherry, now is when you need to, to trim things up. So being brutal now will will you know save <laughs> tears later. Because, you know, clipping these little tiny stems off there, smaller than a straw, compared to clipping something off that's as big as your finger, and you know that there's going to be a quarter pound on that branch. It'll stress your plant <laughs> yeah. less. Yeah, it will. So, it doing it, yeah, doing it now is the best. Yeah. And you're going to want that ground space, because once those limbs grow out and they start to grow buds and everything, that's remember, they're, they're going to weigh down. That's right. right. Everything will open up and weigh down. That's right. That's how the plant opens, so. That's right. Be sure you got your rack or wire or whatever around, you know, so for them to lean down onto. We tried the the the, the mesh last year over the top. So I think that's kind of more. I mean, it did good holding the buds it, on the top. It did good. We didn't have any broken branches. No, we didn't. None. But it sure was a pain in the ass getting them off. I mean, when you come to harvest. Yeah, the, get them off and you know, go in and like take the top off and then go in and take the bottom off. Trying to get in there. To trim and everything, you're all trying to reach through them and yeah, it everything. Was, it was difficult. Like, it really is kind of a pain in the ass. Getting but underneath and sitting up was the way we had to do it. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. There's pros and cons about yeah. both of them, but I think we'll continue to use our hog wire like we are. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, Hawaiian buds, what's up, my friend? Good evening. How are you? We're on the lungs up too. Cool. Yeah. And Gabe Coleman. Toke what's up? up? Doors. <laughs> what's up, my friend? Remember, guys. Hit that thumbs up for us. Let us know you're in the chat as well as on the chat. That's right. <laughs> we got uh, some friends over in Jacksonville, Joe and Cherie, that kind of might be taking a look tonight. Or, oh, yeah. If they, yeah. I think Lane's been poking at them a bit. Long time friends. So, yeah, and they're, they're taking, you know, they like to do their own farming. So, Perfect. yeah, maybe they can, we can help them out too. Let's see, Sherry, I know she is so small, but that's okay. No, 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 no. 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 You She's, wait. Right now, she's a good height. That's okay. right. Good. I mean, she's, get, she's gonna explode. That's so right. Don't you worry. Be patient. Yeah. That's that's the most. That's the thing about growing. Patience is a virtue. <laughs> yes, yeah, a lot of times it really is. It's like know. it's like watching water boil or <laughs> yeah, trying yeah. to find a rock in the desert. You know. <laughs> well, <that> was, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. Roll me up a joint here. Yeah, roll up a joint. There's, there's two beans and magic melon and a, a critical purple. Huh? Nice. Cool. Gabe Very Coleman, good. what's up? How are you? Very good. It slows good. Just burnt outdoors. Just it's burning up. Kosher yeah. Kush. Are you just smoking a kosher Kush? We still got those. Two yeah, we got a little piece of that. Two little yeah. nugs. We'll savoring it. We're savoring it. Yes, we did. <laughs> <laughs> trellis is always a pain. Yeah, at least uh, like you know you can you can put a trellis right in the middle of your plant, you know, and you can tie stuff up from each side. But still, it, it's it is a pain yeah. in the ass. Yeah. You know if it, if you I like an old an antenna sounds like a good idea for a trellis if you need if you just need support for the plant. You can just let it grow right up beside an old antenna with the, the, the bar that goes up and all those aluminum things that go out. Those things would grow, you know, plant would grow right into that pretty easy. So, but we're going to bend a, a couple of those cattle panels, you know, the 16-foot ones. We're going to bend them to a peak or where there's only a foot in between. And so that'll make them like this, but about seven foot, maybe eight foot tall. So the plant will, when it grows up, it'll grow out this way over it. So... 
maybe we can get it three foot out instead of going with the smaller ones and so then having to make bigger ones out there. doing the angled sides. Yeah, yeah, those, pyramid. those ones that we have and, and hang them. Yeah. But no, like Clay's talking about having them sit on the ground. But I, oh. I don't mind the idea about having them up off the ground a couple of feet. Yeah. You know, so we'll see about that too. So, yeah, we just got to rebend some cattle panel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, What's up, let's see. <sighs> yeah, Charles, let's see. And just well, these stone are 57. Hello. Magic melon and a critical purple pot. Yeah. Magic melon sounds good. <laughs> Lately, I've been I've been wanting stuff with flavors. Yeah, yeah, flavors. different flavors are great. Flavors. Yeah. <laughs> and buzz, don't mind me if I'm doing some defoliation. Some defoliation. Exactly. Yeah, nice. You know, somebody asked the other night if, if doing it at night would, was okay, you know, and we do. <laughs> I mean, when it's yeah. hot and stuff, uh, yeah, we put a, our headlight on, you know, put the red beam on or something like that, and just, yeah, you can, uh, it's amazing how well you can see with a red beam in your plant. Uh, you, we got the red beams and the green. The green, the yeah. Green. Uh, but with the red beams, you can see the you know the the locusts that come in, and you know if you if they do, you can hear them hit. You know, <laughs> yeah. but you got to be fast because them suckers, man, they are quick. So, but I like the red light too. Yeah, we we trim at night, and uh, we don't water too late in the evening. We we water really early if we're going to do anything. You know, like at five o'clock or four thirty. Yeah, and then they get a good good drink and absorb a lot before it really starts to get hot. And then if it's real hot, you can just, you know, give them a little cooler drink of, you know, two or three in the afternoon. So it'll help them cool a little bit. <laughs> so, you that just put a fan on it just to move the air, even outdoors. Right? Yeah. yeah. Put a fan on it. Uh, let's see. Rhonda. Rhonda, you said a picture. I'm going to look at that, Rhonda. <laughs> Rhonda's got gnome Hello, candy Steve Smith. in the ground as well. Double M Despo, greetings. What's up, my friend? OZ Stoner is in the house <laughs> from Australia. Yes. All right. Hell yeah. <laughs> APK is AZ. Very good. All right. Yeah. I got some smoking some gnome candy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I brought my purple heart back. And... <coughs> where, 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 yeah. I just brought a little chunk of. I've been working on this bud for the last three days, and this is what I got left. Of course, I should just oh, yeah. left the stem on it because it was about this long. Of what? This no candy. No candy. Yeah. But yeah, it was a nice bud about that long. Yeah, three days ago. Nah. Hell yeah. Yeah, we got all these. We got all these spears of the gnome candy. Very good. These are pretty nice ones. And we got a couple of these this week, too. And boy, I tell you, I'm a real dope because I still don't know how to make it, you know, yeah. work it right. <laughs> Want to fight? <laughs> like a seed. Yeah, I've actually found a couple. Good. Good. There's a couple. Good. They here pretty soon. We won't need those because we'll have this. <laughs> yeah, I about blew my head off two or three times with this gnome candy stuff yeah, in there. Man, look how black that's making this is. gnome candy oil and man, putting it in some uh, some of our refillable cartridges. I was just totally amazed. <laughs> then we got some of the flavored turpins. We got all kinds of flavors. Hell yeah. Cool. And with the gnome candy, yeah, I haven't been able to figure out how to hit on a yellow hit, which is the, the easy one. And I always get stuck on the medium or the high one, and by then it's too late. So I got some, I got some flavors coming of, of the Terps. I got, uh, I got some uh, berry blast. I got some berry blast. Captain Crunch. Uh, <laughs> I got the, oh, everybody loves pineapple express. I got pineapple express Terps. Mm -hmm. Terps coming. And the other one was like a watermelon rush. Can't wait. Glenn just finished defoliating mine earlier. Nice. Really? It's about okay, that time. Sure. We're going to clean out this little Girl Scout cookie plant behind us here. This yeah. one in the middle. Right there. <laughs> there we go. 
That actually, oh, oh, where do we go? It got blends in with with our banner really, really good. That's all. Awesome. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just really a tech person here. That our <laughs> this is terrible. All right, come on, come on, come on. Can you wish my cousin Nick care and a, a happy Good birthday? Uh, would mean a lot to you. Uh, so Nick, happy birthday from Father and Sons Trim Tutorials happy and birthday. Birthday brother. Happy this birthday, brother. This is from man. the the Alaskan known candy branch. Oh, what we got? Yeah, yeah. We got a picture of our Alaskan, our Alaskan candy branch. gnome candy branch. Those plant bait. Oh man, those babies are looking good. Yeah. Two to a freezer. Yeah, he's been working good at it. Very <laughs> nice. Very nice. Hell yeah. You can send us some more pictures too, and I will put them in the video with the rest. Totally awesome. <laughs> uh, let's see. Look at all this stuff. We're been over a hundred on a gallon. Damn. You, who did that? What was that? Probably oh, pretty up suggestion. Francis, Francis, one of my gnome candy oh. is in pre flower. Very excited. Oh, and very it good. starts. It starts. Yeah. <laughs> it's very good. It's, it's always nicer when they just kind of show you a hair or two here instead of really turning around and budding really hard before they show you. So I don't know how far how far in the flower you are, but when they start to set about yeah, eraser uh, size. Eraser size, little flowers, is when if you're using a second fertilizer for the blossom booster or anything like that, mm -hmm. change it to your. That would be the time to, 10, 30, to slowly ease it into the known candy plant. That's right. Uh, Just some 10, 30, 20 is a good balance. Hell yeah. Oh, let's see, Rhonda's. <coughs> Yeah, we got a bunch of pictures coming in now, guys. So um, it's gonna be a pretty kick-ass video. Wyatt Dixon, what's up? How can I get some of that gnome candy oil? <laughs> Peace oh, from Oklahoma. The Alaskan plants are 74 days from seed. Oh, oh good, good. Seven. And they got that weird light up there too, so he's gonna have to black bag them or something before long. Ooh, make a little. Yeah. You gonna do that, brother? Make... Black, black bag them. Make, Light deprivation. Make flip top lids for those fridges. Oh no, just for those fridges. Black drapes on the windows. Oh, well, yeah, you could do that. But what about the roof too? You could do well, the whole, yeah, you, you could do you'd the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, you have to. You have to get bees ninety percent of the light shut down. Bees who do the plants. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's see. So oh. My plants were getting too big, so I had to put a trellis up uh, and pinch my plants to lay down and start. Popping back up. You don't think it will hurt, do you? You know, plants are very resilient. They are, yeah. If you're tying them down or something like that, the, the natural part is for them to go back up. So just continue tying it down if that's what you're doing. Yep. You tie them down within, like, the, the I tie plants down and I go back a few hours later and it's already, yeah, they're, it's already turned up. They're pretty light receptive <laughs> when they're doing Preston. well. Preston! LVGC is Hello, in the LVGC. house. Yes. What up, goofballs? <laughs> it's like a goofball. He's going to bag him in August. Cool. Bag him. <laughs> Very good. Good idea. Nice. Uh, hey, Edmonds, I have two come up. Nice. Very oh, yeah. good. Very Congrats. good. <coughs> Down Louisiana, I believe, <laughs> right? Is that right, Nick? Or am I wrong? No, 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 no. Wrong no, corner Nick, of the woods. Nick, uh, <laughs> Nick uh, Edmonds. He was a ways out there. Yeah. Anyway. That's it. Home candy. Sweet. Press to say never should have left. <laughs> you came down way early, bro. I was, I'm still eating food you guys left in my refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I don't have to cook. <laughs> Craig Foster, the plant transformed completely. I'll send pick, picks up. <laughs> Excellent. <coughs> Brady Hicks is OG. Craig. Jack are, you talking, are you talking about the gnome, the gnome candy, Greg? Or just one of the plants that you have going on. Yeah. Nick, I might try try that, but outside because my room is under a mail. Oh, you got a you got a mail in your room, huh? Just put it in another room, or put it. That that's right. That's right. We were yeah. talking. We were talking to you about right. saving the pollen. 
Try and to. using it using it later on down the road. Try to, if you're going to use another room or something, whatever ventilation, try to try to filter it, you know, in and out. So that'd save your other plants around your house or something if you're doing indoors. Yeah. Yeah. Our place, we got quite a bit of acreage and we can still take it to the other end of the North 40 there. And, and we're, it's far enough away that we haven't really had too much trouble with our plants really seeding, you know, it, too hard or something like that. So, yeah, just get them away and save that pollen, huh, can you? <laughs> but let it mature. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Nick, uh, can't force it, stretch it. <laughs> yeah, Greg Buzzer's a chef in one of the Oops, excuse Good me. Good evening, chef in. How are you? That's right. Good Preston, evening to you, too. <laughs> Preston, uh, uh, clones love 70, 80 degrees. Yo, oh, yeah, they do. It has been under the roof. It has been pretty toasty here. It was like 96 yesterday yeah. um, in town here and not far off today. <laughs> um, <laughs> Last night I got the, the fan up in the upper vent to pull air out. It's just on all the time. Yeah. And I turned the heater off but, underneath um, the deck. And, yeah. It, it, it has been terribly warmer in the room here. I haven't had to have the heater on for a while now. Well, this heat's coming almost three weeks earlier. In the year my exhaust year. fan is like constantly <laughs> it, it's constantly running now <laughs> so and then the known candy so far is starting real slow um uh, I'm not, I'm uh the soil 6.2 because uh to six eight so yeah, that's, not that's, not that's not too bad that's not too bad a little high but that's not too bad so between you know here. between uh five eight and and yes six you know six two that's right six eight so it's pretty high. Your, your soil molded. So yeah, you yeah you want to get rid of the. Yeah, if your soil's molding or something, and you're not drying out quick enough, need more fans, brother. Yeah, move more air. Craig Foster. Oh, the lemon skills. Okay. Yeah, shoot us pictures, and we'd love to check that out. Lemon skills sounds fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Um, we even have to have some skittles turpins. We do. <laughs> uh, brother up north says. Uh, Find someone that you know that could take a male plant for you and, and care for it until you know it matures. That way, it's you know they're helping you out and, and it's not gonna you know totally seed your stuff. So. If they're not growing and they yeah. don't mind doing that kind of stuff, it would good, be no problem. Be a good friend. So, yeah. Preston, love you. Glad you're loving your food. <laughs> he said his male 48 miles away. Makes <laughs> yeah, very good. <laughs> Um, you had to make sure you ate right. It's the Alaskan gnome candy. I uh, wanted us to make sure you were fed. <laughs> no. Keep oh, speaking going. of that. Yeah. Speaking of that, look at it. I, I got this for my stuff. Look at This is some of that that sour silver from the LBGC. So. Ooh. Yeah. Man. And that's like pretty, pretty decent. Pretty like, decent. So. Like gold. Pretty good. Too. Hell yeah. Pretty nice. nice. Look at the color difference. <laughs> Yeah, nice. I smoked some of that. We did. Uh, we Nick did. says spores got my bathroom contamination, so I bleached and sh shot out of it. <laughs> so yeah, you just clean your whole bathroom really good, sanitize yeah. everything, and yeah. uh, you so don't go any farther than than you know, just there. Yeah. It's hard to contain male pollen because believe me, they it it just gets in the air like dust. Yeah. Sometimes you bump a plant or something in the right wind, and you can just see this yellow fog going through the air, kind of like pine, you know, pulling out the pine trees or something, you know. Yeah. yeah. And you think, holy shit, uh, when's the next farm down there? <laughs> <laughs> so, you no, know, Tom Ross, even in this was wow. Yeah, no, it was it was just his soil that, that had a mold. Oh, okay. Was, yeah, still just in the bathroom. Yeah. Turn it and to dry if you, it. If you're out. doing indoors and stuff, I, I really don't recommend reusing potting soil indoors. Um, not because there's anything missing. It's just that after it gets used, um, bugs really do infest it really quick. Um, just any flies or bugs, whatever around, and white flies are the gnats are what really get you. Yeah. And then you put the soil back in, and all of a sudden you got flies all over out coming out of your soil or down the out of the holes in the bottom of your bag or something. Um, so we're gonna we're, we're gonna feed these girls. Uh, we're gonna add some fishy mold <laughs> in with the water this time. 
uh, two days ago. <coughs> I added all of our nutrients <coughs> into, into these babies. And um, it's time to add the fish emulsions now. Yep. I don't add the fish emulsions with all with all of the nutrients and everything. Yeah. I wait at least one to two days. And that's that's what that little book is for. You write it in so you yep. can things that you need to add every 12 to 15 days. You can have them on their own schedule. So that way you don't just load them down with all kinds of fertilizers. But, um, we can go ahead and send, send out the Girl Scout cookie plant first. And, and then we'll water after we're done. So far, these fiber pots, I love them. They're doing great, great drainage. Uh, the soil dries out evenly within a timely manner and everything, especially mm -hmm. with the two fans that I have going on here. Nick, you might have problems listening. <laughs> Always have a smile. Some plants are clever. Hermes, <laughs> that produce the hidden pollen sacs. Yeah, you got to watch out for those hidden, hidden ones. Yeah. <laughs> as long as long as your plant is, is you know it's a normal function for a plant to if it's de deprived of male pollen or something to put out a seed you know just ever so often through through the plant uh, if it's not normal it's homorphodite if it's like a whole branch or, or half the side of the plant or the whole plant uh, and believe me if it's homorphodite Picking it off ain't going to help because it comes back like cancer, just as bad, and it comes back from somewhere else on the plant. So just when you're cloning and stuff, that's when you really want to take clones off branches and, and plants that are clean. That That's how you keep your strain clean. So. And a lot of people use a lot of people use the tops of the plants. Well, the, the tops are fine. Tops. You just got to get them short because they're hollow. <laughs> exactly. You know? And the it's tops. that hollow part that down at the bottom that we leave sometimes that really rots and, and kills the plant so getting that stem you know where you where you can see just a, a littlest white spot in the center and it's yeah. mostly nice and green that's where you make your cutting you know your cuts, cuts for the roots on your tops yeah. and so right. like any of the smaller branches or limbs that we take off that aren't large enough that that, that we think aren't aren't large enough to you know produce anything we, we might as well just cut that limb off and let let that energy go elsewhere that's right those are the limbs that i like to take the cuttings off of yeah, um, yeah just making sure they're clean and you know and, and it doesn't have some gnarly twisted <laughs> you know branch off deformed. of that form you know, yeah so that's how you keep them clean never but, trying mushrooms indoors <laughs> no uh, an old man that did it for I knew he, he he used to do it on trays. He says he says a fly can kill a tray full of mushrooms in a day in, in hours. So lot next time I went downstairs, he had his basement painted white, and he had four shelves up like mm. this, and he had like 400 quart jars and half gallon curd jars, and that's what he grew in. And these these jars had like cubensis in there, like big thing, looks like a friggin' fish growing in this jar. Yeah, mm -hmm. but he had like 35, 33 mm -hmm. gallon garbage cans over along the wall with different sized mushrooms in them. <laughs> Small, um, medium, and large. Let's <laughs> see, APK, AZ. I like how you set up the CO2 lines. Yeah, so I have the CO2 line coming down, and mm -hmm. I thought it was a great idea. Oh, to go around and, and I, just went, yeah. I went all the way around, all the way around the room. So it starts at the front on both mm -hmm. ends here, and I have three little tiny holes on each side that once that once the line fills up with co2 it'll be evenly dispersing all the co2 all the way around the deck and that's right it should be much more efficient rather than just uh, last last cycle in here i had the one i had it set up right in the middle of the room right in front of the drain right here <laughs> it was just it just shot up in between the plants, but you know the fans cycle it. You do move it around. If it's an enclosed room like this, it really doesn't go anywhere yeah. except that little hole here and there. So, right. yeah. <laughs> but if you got a room that's pretty leaky, then yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, hell, let me uh, let's see. see. <laughs> Fifteen inches tall. Very or, good. Fifteen. That's a good start. Father, why do you like those old school metal pipes? Uh. 
I'm not much for glass. Uh, I like some with a screen to it because sometimes sucking on glass pipes, you suck a cherry down your throat, you know, and, and that kind of burns when it gets stuck back there in your little dingleberry. Yeah. And, um, yeah, uh, I don't know. I can blow them out, heat them up real good, and then just blow them out to clean them and put a new screen in. I remember when I was in high school, I liked them because you stick like, them in your friggin' pocket. If you <laughs> if you put them, if you put a clean screen in there and everything, you have nice nice yeah. airflow through there. Your first few hits of, of smoke through it tastes really really good. Yeah, it's like amazing. Yeah. Plus back then, you know, we had to pay for our smoke, <laughs> and and the screens too. It was illegal. <laughs> yeah. That's and true. We would smoke out of the pipes, scrape the scrape that, smoke that later, and, smoke, <laughs> yeah. and I would even smoke joints through the pipes just so we could scrape it later on. I, I have a That's pretty nice glass then. bong, you know, with a slip off, you know, bowl, <laughs> and it, but I can only smoke it on occasion because it takes lung power to do that, and quite often I don't have that much lung power, so it's kind of nice when I do because it is a pretty green, a pretty nice pipe. It's, Really thick glass, and it's made to last a long time. Yes. Uh, Rhonda, do you ever give my donations for seeds? Yes, I did. Thank you. I apologize for not getting back to you. It is on the, it is on the way right now, and it shouldn't, shouldn't be too long. I apologize for the wait. Uh, we've been pretty busy. Uh, the way things are going now, it's kind of hard to get back to We're normal. keeping up, everybody. <laughs> yeah, we're working at it. Uh, yeah. I don't know what happened to it, but uh, the buds look like lavender. Desert cotton candy, exotic looking. What's that? Oh, the the Skittles, the lemon oh, Skittles. Oh, the Skittles. Okay. The lemon Skittles. Wow. Um, cool. Exotic looking. That's cool. Where the Where'd you get the Where'd you get the seeds from? Mm -hmm. Was it probably from, any place of a million online from, places or something. from like a dispensary <laughs> or an online place? I don't place know what too. it is, but it's insane. Cool. I can't wait to see. <laughs> Masterpiece. <laughs> Yeah, that platinum dosi is doing weird things out in the garden, but it's getting turned around. I mean, it's back to, you know, giving three feet, you know, three, you know, the crow's feet. So it's turning around. It'll be ready to oh, and uh, taken off, too. Yeah. And oh, how big is it? About like, like this, about this tall. About my hip. <laughs> nice. Yeah, the nice. platinum dosi. Yeah, we got the high end of the garden. Too. And the other two platinum dosis I have outside right now, they're flowering. They're just going crazy. Is that one you're experimenting with? <laughs> yeah. It's doing really good. I actually I ran out of the colloidal silver no in the jar, so <laughs> it, it will either produce or it won't. <laughs> sex or it won't. We'll so see. it's okay. That I'll get like, some I'll get some new stuff and we'll try it again. <laughs> I got a quick shot of that uh, tortured Girl Scout cookie in my closet too. We yeah. tried this uh, uh, pollinate. So <laughs> yeah, we move that over and I'll pull this thing up here. All right. Oh, it is. Okay. Table first. I actually won't kind of be right there. That's good. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, guys. We're gonna clean out this Girl Scout cookie plant. Yeah. Ah, uh, let's see. It's turning around, reading. It looks kind of weird. Back to three fingered leaves, and, but it'll come out in the and grow normal here in a bit because it's just doing its adaption. So, all right. So what we're looking at here in the bottom are these this set of leaves or limbs. See how kind of they're kind of wispy compared to this one here, the next set up. And what's this is the well here's the other branch over here. Yep. Okay, and that's a pretty monstrous one, too. So, we'll take these two off. Okay, and these two can be cloned if you want to clone them. Um, yeah, here, I got a cup over here. Okay. And so, right away, I, I will take the cuttings and I will put them in some water with just a drop of Super Thrive or something, or B1 or something on there. <clears throat> just enough to help with the shock. So, other than that, I'm just cleaning off a little bit of the growth on the limbs we're leaving. Because... These things grow indoors and they start doing strange things when they get all up against each other. We would scrape the pipe and then scrape it again. <laughs> yes, yes, we would, <laughs> Mummy Mountain Indica. Yes, we would. 
I would smoke anything through the pipe just so I can get some resin to scrape that again. That's mm -hmm. how it was back in the day. If you mm -hmm. didn't have money, you didn't get you mm -hmm. didn't get smoke. Yeah, that's the reason I started growing. Actually, I mean indoors was Brenda decided. Your mom decided to cold turkey quitting smoking, and man, I was so damn proud of her. She did too, Anna Kenya. She quit smoking straight up, but she smoked like three times more pot. But I didn't care. I mean, that was cool. And so, yeah, she really did well. Uh, uh, let's see. Tokes Outdoors. You guys have a link that you all can benefit from if I purchase lights from Mars Hydro. At this moment, uh, we do not Tokes Outdoors, but I can always ask, and I will get I will get back to you after I hear from them. <clears throat> uh, let's see we can come up here one more notch greg foster uh the seeds were a gift from someone helping me to start grow but i think it may be dutch passion but i don't know for sure but it's a, definitely some rare pheno yeah turn-ons are great aren't they the lemon skittles yeah i always thought turn-ons were so cool very nice when I had a wood pipe in I got in Germany and used it to scrape to scrape it and me and my buddies would say we were smoking half wood. <laughs> but it was delicious. You know, sometimes on those metal pipes too, when you're like cleaning out threads and stuff, you know, there's always those little tiny metal shavings that Well that's when you're scraping you too hard. So. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta have a you gotta have a <laughs> soft hand for Yeah. So just don't use a, a knife like, too hard. Not like this one. That one's pretty kind small. Of small, I know. It shows the other one over here, but it's bigger than that one. So I'm uh, just trying to make a decision on which way to but go. Let's see. Where did I top this thing? Right. Pick it right yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I topped I topped her. Let's see. And all these others started to shoot. I topped her right here. Yeah. That's why this <clears throat> is wide like that right yep. there. So we'll let it go the way it's going. It's doing fine. So other than these are the other branches here, and this one here, and this one here, we'll we'll wait for a while to see how they do. Yep. We may take these two off later, so that these actually produce the more luscious. That's right, buds. More luscious buds. I did find our box of photographs in the trailer, though. Oh, very nice. So I'm going to have to look a little farther. I'll see about finding the Gumby Oh, pictures. snap. You guys want some flashback stories? <laughs> flashback. <laughs> Way back in the, what, 80s? Early 80s. Early yeah. 80s. Yeah. Yeah, you were. It's going to be. You were maybe a year old. It's going to be flashback story time. That's right. <laughs> when, the, when the professor was kind enough to follow me out of the unemployment office. After I'd gotten no more checks, and they said, ha, 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 screw you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. It was totally awesome. It really was. Cause Nick, I don't use pro mixes and other soils. I have issues with burning plants. You know, that's why we we love the, the, the happy ha frog. Fox Farm Happy Frog yeah. soil because yeah. it does and great. What's, what's the ocean one, too? <clears throat> There's an ocean one that's ocean. Uh, ocean. Yeah, yeah. It's the, got pictures of shells and stuff on yeah. But uh, that, that's yeah. a good one too. Anyway, the the fox farm happy frog is a really nice medium for yeah for, for soil cloning, cloning for clones soils yeah or, uh, soils <laughs> uh, seeds yeah. seed starts. All right, I think that's good enough there. Yeah. No, I'm gonna take that one off. There. Yeah, yeah looks nice. Probably, okay, it's all pretty well cleaned out. Okay. But when it gets past this three finger stage, then it will go ahead and take off real good. So. But, but the light will go through it, and all the energy will come out here to the oh, ends yeah. where we want it. That's very. That's really nice. That's now it's yeah. it's nice and open. <laughs> I can I can see you through the plant. <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. yeah. Minwa, what is up, my friend? And red game foul. Let's see. <clears throat> Let that board tip. All right. We got our there one. Very good. All of these. We will more than likely use for clones, just so that we can keep the Girl Scout cookie going until we have seeds. <laughs> Perfect. 
one way or the other. Red Kingfell. What's up, brothers? What's up? Good to see you. Thanks for swinging by. Oh, I just, that was slaving, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Broke, broke my back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how heavy that can, webcam is? Yeah. yeah, I tell you, getting up and down in the garden <laughs> the other day, man, I was so sore. Let's see. I need to make my photographer light on. My furniture cuttings. Lost none. Oh, cool. 15 of found beds elsewhere. Excellent. Excellent. Nice. Nice. Brother Deer got his smart hydro light and he didn't lose any cuttings, he said. So, yeah, and 15 uh, of what he did have new homes. <laughs> Very fast. Good. Did their own donation. We purchased a Mars Hydro TS 600 and we shipped it up there to up to our Alaskan branch. Yeah, uh, so brother have, Deer, yeah. So we can have a really nice light for, for the clones and the starts and everything. And it's working out pretty pretty nice yeah. so he's like hell it. yeah <laughs> so. <clears throat> i topped one of my branches the other day on accident oops you know there's always those little oopsies <laughs> yeah during yeah. You know, there, yeah there's always those <laughs> yeah use scissors that's real good i used to use my scalpel when i cleaned my plants and stuff because man it just made such a nice clean cut you know and man it, it was so pretty but then sometimes you get a hard one, you go Oop, like that, yeah, and you take off the one above it. So, <laughs> oops. Yeah, yeah, there's always an oops here, a great big butt somewhere. Oh, crap. Ocean yeah. Forest, happy frog. Ocean Forest, that's, that's right. right. Very Thank good. Thank you, Minwa. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Must be my old age, old age, I knew it. old age. I, I couldn't spit it out, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm using, happy frog, Greg. Yes. We love the happy frog. Yep. If anything, you can get some a bag of worm castings and add, you know, two or three cups to each pot, you know, with your with your medium, you know, your soil. Worm castings are good. Yeah. Even in these five gallon pots, I'm like I'm like two good handfuls, yeah. you know, per pot. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll up some of this uh L V G C stuff. Oh oh those the sour silver. Uh, yeah, sour silver. And no, brother dear, I didn't get congested. <laughs> In fact, with the Girl Scout cookie or the platinum dosi, I haven't <coughs> gotten a reaction either, too. So we like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great. Remember when doing the photos uh, that it was done under the SF2000? This, this thing rocks. Just looking at the picture brings out chills. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that SF2000 is pretty nice. It is. It really is. And... and with the other light on right beside it, I would look last night when I was looking up the other uh, you know, the exhaust fan. Um, I just sat back and just looked, you know, and, and the SF, the spider, you know, farmers uh, 2000 light is just a little bit uh, not quite as bright of an orange spectrum as the, the Mars Hydra, but they both are, are of that spectrum, they're full spectrum lights. And, and they both do really well, so <clears throat> that's the only thing I really noticed between the two. Nice. Uh, is just a variance of light, and somebody I don't think it's on as bright as it should be or can be either. I think it's about half on, so as far as brightness goes. Yeah, so. yeah, we, we haven't taken, taken off, off the, nothing the house or anything to to check and see yeah. what it's been. At. Yeah. We've just been <coughs> using it, you know, what it was factory set at. So. Yeah. So. <laughs> Just seeing how the lights work and everything, and yeah, I'm pleased with both lights. Yes, when fast gets autos, I'm in. <laughs> we we've grown a couple autos, but <laughs> yeah, we maybe catching, we got some really good clean Ruder Alice. Maybe uh, maybe after this, we have seeds run. We have a bunch of seeds that we have gotten from quite a few subscribers, and I'm maybe amazed. maybe we can just as a saying, thank you for for the seeds we can roll we're gonna try like crazy I've, I've got like five different kinds in the garden this year i think and that's more than i gen have generally had so generally it's just one or two of the you know extravagant ones and but now this year's bigger so i mean mm -hmm. as far as more flavors yeah here here you got the the agent orange jack frost mr j and then the platinum dosi yeah I've got the platinum dosi, the Elvis, um, Girl Scout cookie, uh, Granddaddy Perp, um, Agent Orange. 
No one candy. Um, Dave's not here. Uh, the, the, the silver. silver. That's right, the silver. I still the, think sterling sounds really good. Anyway, the silver the, plant the, and the 4200. 4, 4, 4, yeah. They are Damn. still smaller plants. That is a huge flavor list. <laughs> <laughs> but the last three are, are variations of our known candy. So, but I've got a couple of uh, things I'll give you, send to you on the your phone or something to post. Right. So, um, yeah, you'll be able to see what I've done indoors and outdoors as far as cleaning the plant. And so, Perfect. yeah, I got them all cleaned up really nice. So they're all like this, that, that much airspace between the branches and the ground. So, yeah. Nick, you know the worst thing about growing in pots? Uh, the experience. They're expensive. Prom, yeah, if you want the 100, 100 gallon pots. No, you know, there's actually sites and stuff that you can get larger pots for a very reasonable price. Uh, my, my buddy Thomas, uh, we need to yeah. do an update on him. We need to get a hold of him and see how he's doing. But he got a set of six of the 600 gallon pots yeah. for $100, I believe he said. They and, were huge. Yeah, those one we were telling yeah, them. They were huge. And so. Soon enough, we're going to do an update on that. Uh, we'll get re-invited back to the garden and see how his babies are doing. Yeah. Some brother here in Alaska, he points out that uh, with an auto flower like some people are wanting, just they were actually designed just to, to put in a pot and sit in your windowsill like your house plant, and it's going to it's going to flower whenever it decides to, for whatever light that you know happens during the day so trying trying to do an indoor autoflower <laughs> may kind of throw you off a bit because it's going to do what it does on its course not you're making it so keep an eye out on your indoor if you're doing the autoflowers oh yeah yeah oh yeah it's greg uh the spider farmer has their ir chips too i don't know if mars hydro has those I'm not sure if they have them or not. Either. But is that the the little light thing on the <coughs> on the like plate? A little chip, because because yeah, I think um, the Mars hydros are, are kind of a round dot, and and the the spider farms are square. I'm pretty sure, and that's the only real difference, other than oh, just see. a slight color variation in the in the spectrum. Uh, not enough to really harm the or do the plants with too much red or too much purple. So. Minois, we are smoking some of our Las Vegas num yeah, candy yeah. branch. The uh, sour, sour silver. silver. That's a local, yeah, that's a, one of the local weeds down there. As well as our gnome candy. Smoking, yeah. some, of the, smoking some of that as always well. Always gnome candy. Always, there's always a gnome candy. <laughs> oh, let's see. Is that the one guy who you helped him out get a soil ready? Yes. Yeah, yeah same did. guy. And that that'll be the same garden. I can't wait to go back there and see see how 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 they're doing. Yeah, got, yeah going and stuff. So I talked with him um, uh, yesterday or no earlier today actually. Um, I've got several buckets of fertilizers that I can't quite identify, and I'm not real sure. So I asked him for an you know to come maybe, see, and maybe, maybe he can identify them where I'm lacking a little bit. <clears throat> He says, send him some pictures. So if not, he'll be buying a day or two. Uh, mummy, I looked at those 600 gallon pots on eBay. The pots he bought, they're nice. Yeah. Yes, they are. They, they are nice. I was mad at how thick they were. I mean, still, he hit that, that the edge of that <laughs> thing with his rotor, that little rototiller thing. And it, it really didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. It, I guess it, maybe you could have just like thrown everything, all the soil in a pile and just like mix it everything up. But yeah. I don't know. No, he, yeah, he does. He's just got to be careful. He's so. got to be careful when when mixing it up and everything. Yeah, well, it, he does that kind of like I do when I'm fertilizing the babies. I always try to. I don't mind doing it sometimes with a five gallon bucket because then I know each plant is getting a certain amount, a certain amount. and yeah. that's what he does when he's mixing this dirt too. So I'm gonna overdo it in this yeah, bin yeah. and then you know not have enough in this bin. That's right. That way you you know easier to keep your pH at a good level where you don't yeah. burn the plants. Yeah, six hundred gallon pots. They're gonna. Yeah, yeah, I've seen him grow 15 <laughs> foot. He does a lot trees, of ladder work. 15 foot trees and those things. Man. Yeah, yeah. Slime nuts. Be bigger than my arm. I mean, the stock. Just, you guys yeah. want to see some stocks? Wait till you see these. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's the orange pitch. Orange pick. Now, now that one. 
the one that should be is gray. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, you ended up with the Mars Hydro TSW 2000. That is the one that we have right here in in our grill room. Clay says he, he uses recycled Kest freezers. He strips them out, pokes six giant holes in the bottom, and fills them with a little bit of rock to finish it up, and then it's all on top. It's Meaning, funny. when he pokes a hole, it, it's yeah, that big around. <laughs> <laughs> Blow a couple holes. Good drainage. <laughs> but yeah, excellent. Two plant, two plants in a in a freezer. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. He's uh, gonna have ice Francis, box cannabis. Good night, Francis. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out. Oh, we green chat. <laughs> Hope everyone in the chat as well. Yes, it has been. I got mine from Grower's Choice. Okay, I've heard of that and put it in paper. Oh, paper towel to germinate. Okay. Uh, and then in, in peat. In the peat putt. Okay. Just to get it. And it had cracked already. Good. Nice. Um, kind of be wary of your peat pots. Um, they, they do, if it's a real peat pot, it, they do break down, but it, it takes a little bit of time. So if you're growing it in a peat, little peat cup, um, before you transplant it, sometimes it's nice to take a little razor and, and split the side of your peat pot, you know, and just go ahead and set it down the ground, and that it'll just open up easier that way. So instead of being all compressed and yeah, not, yeah. not being able to expand, get out past so, that know. peat. Yeah, I mean the rock wool kind of does the same thing. Uh, I mean, granted, it, it really splits the ends of the white hairs to make more roots, you know, but it doesn't break down. And I, I don't know, maybe I water my plants too much for rock wool, but I've had more root rot that stay right there at that clump of rock wool than any other kind of thingy. So. Rock, <laughs> I don't need to go to Red Rock. <laughs> we're, on a, yeah. we're on a live stream, Google. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <coughs> Warren Dixon, what is up, dude? Cheers to you. What are you smoking on? I see you. I see smoke. <sighs> <laughs> I'm working on getting a Red game a, fell. A, <laughs> working on getting a decent light. Good. Excellent. And the hunt is on. That's right, yeah. Right, you, so, even if you've got just a small, you know, setup of you know, three foot square or something like that, you know. Yeah, three hundred watt light, maybe a hundred and fifty watt light would be a good start compared to a, a, just a regular light bulb. Or, or one of them purple lights. Those kind of throw me off. they they yeah. make good porch lights, I think. I'm not, I'm not too fond on the, uh, the ultraviolet purple yeah. stuff. And I think it's like that just kind of, it takes something away from the rest of the plant and the flower. <laughs> when it's too red or too purple, it, it's got to have the oranges and the yellows in it. Like, like it's got to have <laughs> nitrogen, even if it's just a taste all through the year, or it's going to miss something. You know, so. Uh, meanwhile, so let me ask, is that small flathead... To turn it up, I can't see. What are you talking about? On the on the light? Flathead to turn it up? On, on the uh, TSW 2000, it is a very, very small. Uh, oh, the little thing to turn the light up and down? Yeah. Yeah, it's a very small flathead. The tools we use there, we keep in the room too, <laughs> so you don't have to go looking. <clears throat> Very good. So when I'm when I'm adding the fish emulsions, I don't put it in my water tank. I don't want that stuff yeah. in my tank. I use strictly water and fertilizer okay. in the tank because it's it can be easily washed out. Where no, yeah, the fish emulsion will stay. It will coat. It's an it is kind of an oily substance, and it will get in any crack and corner it can get a hold on. Very good. Yeah, tonight I'm going to hook up the other uh, air duct for the intake and just put a filter on either end and just let the exhaust fan pull air on right out onto the deck. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm going to have to come from there, up, up high, and go down instead of coming up like I wanted to. So. Yeah. But that's okay. It'll work. It'll work. And I found out, too, leaving the garage 
closed and opening the back door, um, it stays cooler in that garage all day than the whole, any other building on the property, the house or the cabin, oh, yeah. anything. Yeah, so, that's nice. It's nice, cool. It is, yeah, today but it was man, 75 in that room. In late October when we're trimming and everything, <laughs> it's fucking cold, man. You get a couple fireplaces going and, and everything. <laughs> People, people wanted it. Uh, Trainer likes to reply to me. Group where people show their photos. Kind of like, oh, cool, right on. Hell yeah. Yes, the TSW2000. It just takes a very small flathead. And it actually took me a while to figure that out. Yeah, you <laughs> thought it was a Phillips or something. Yeah. Can it be Phillips? That... Nope, no, it can't be Phillips. It's got to be a, be a flathead. SK, Dr. Colbert, what's up? It's happened in America. <laughs> Vogue. Yeah, we're still hearing. I vote for Spider Farmer and these results after just got my second grow. Very good. Hell yeah. Very uh, good. <laughs> so how much you have you written down over your last couple cycles? You're packing it all the way up here in the noodle. <laughs> yeah. Now write it down, because believe me, you'll like you'll appreciate writing whatever it is you do in your garden. Yeah, just remember, no names. That's just safety precaution. <laughs> just a little bit more. Yeah. Hey, let's see, Gray. First grow was with nine watt lights before I was able to purchase the light. Very good. And yeah, and you still did yeah. it though, huh? Still did it. Very good. Yeah. You know, just a regular old forty watt. Fluorescent light will turn out buds that big. I mean, but that's about it. Yeah. Because they're only what? 80 watts or something, or 40 watts. We got four lights. You know. But yeah, no, that'll do it. So uh, let's see, Red Team Bell just got done watering my super bloom. Uh, yeah. when the time went off, uh, they used 55 watts per plant. I don't like them as a nine more. Mm -hmm. I don't like them as much as a nine more. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, right now we've got, let's see, we got 2,600 watts on the table. Um, we've got 15, 15 little plants, you know, in half-gallon pots. And they're doing pretty good. They're doing nice. real good. So. It, just, it was easier to spread the plants out and add a light than it was to kind of keep them all cramped up underneath that one light. So. Proximity to them, your plant, too, is also something that they talk back and forth to each other kind of i mean it happens between roots too and in, in you know if you've got an open bed where your roots are kind of coming like this where your plants are getting closer and closer together between the space once they start talking then their uh oh space is getting tight so that's proximity that's why we try to 10 maybe 12 foot spaces between our plantings so yeah if you got the room use it that's right <laughs> Remember, you don't need a deep pot. You know, it could be 14 inches deep, 16 maybe, and it could be this big around, you know, and you will turn out a plant bigger than you can get in a cabbie or pickup uh, compared to, you know, a plant that's, you know, I mean, a pot that's really tall, like a five-gallon bucket, because that just forces everything up, so, because of the roots. Their proximate, uh, proximity confines them to going up when they get root bound, so, yeah. Get yourself some bigger pots, and and yeah, yeah, your plants will grow slower. They'll grow bushier because they have the roots have more room to go out. So yeah, it's cool. Yeah, <laughs> things are looking nice. My dream light is a HLG 650 V spec. What, what's with the V spec? Is that a, a a full spectrum light, or is that just basically? Reds and purples for maybe yeah the like the style style yeah. of it. Um, Nick, I, you just I never really had much much uh, luck with the the really red or purple UV lights. I mean they were okay in addition to other you know the the high pressure sodium spectrum and stuff. So staying with that and adding those lights, it worked out okay that way. Uh, I think a full spectrum light clear up through harvest and stuff as well. Just got to know when the plant changes so you can add or change your fertilizers. Because the last three weeks of your flowering, something like that, you should be doing it with 
something like the or uh, violet or variegated violet uh, from Jack's uh, professional is a 55018. That way you still have a bit of a ni of nitrogen as well as high phosphorus and high potash, and that's what the flowers crave. But cutting out nitrogen altogether, like I said, the plants lose something. So just a trace helps. <clears throat> or some beastie bloom works really good. That's an old one, but it works really good. And it's just a, a quarter of a teaspoon stuff every couple days. So I was amazed at that stuff. It, it's totally green and everything. Nick, I'd go with an 85 watt bulb. I, I think the 55 watt might might be still not enough. That's right. Um, my plan is only five weeks with <coughs> a half inch stock um, at 15 inches tall. That's, that's a nice, that's yeah, fair enough. Good, yeah. good size, good measurements. It, Score. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, the, that light is a full spectrum with UV and R red. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> Those stoner is actually 650R spec. Let's see. Sounds yeah, nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so man. Yeah. So yeah. Here, let's check these things out. These things are fucking looking sweet. Get my happy ass out of the way here. Here's some of our little cuttings from the trim. Starting off with the first numb candy. They're looking good. They, they grow up and take off. <clears throat> yeah, the last few days I just found myself going out to the room and sitting. And I found out, it. I discovered it was because it's it is actually 15 degrees cooler in there than it is outside. So, yeah. <laughs> but then it goes off in the middle of the afternoon because I got on overnight. And then I cleaned out yeah. our nicely cleaned out Girl Scout cookie. Yep, a few days that thing will just zoom. Hell yeah. Trim it like that does help kind of make it respond by, you know, pushing it a bit, making it. You know, giving her a little, yeah. giving her a little push, encouraging it to change, to do better, yeah. grow, <laughs> grow more. Mm -hmm. yeah, I like the pictures and stuff with the water on it. Remember the ones with the Hong Kong gooey and the and the uh, dew outside? Those yeah. would be great. To have a picture on the on the well, Let me see the pink spray bottle. There we go. <clears throat> And I also, guys, I also just have a regular spray bottle with water that I also do misty. I just like to mist the plants. They fucking love that oh, shit. Yeah. They're, they will absorb as much yeah. moisture through their leaves and stuff as they can through their roots. A lot like the redwoods do. So just don't mist it too much too close to evening because they won't dry out before breakfast. And so they may help create mold or something like that. And mildew. Yeah. They do it early enough to, to dry out. Hell yeah. Very good. <laughs> Put you guys back. Hold still, everybody. Super glue fertilizer. Hey, Chiffin. Let's see. Chiffin, I have another light uh, to be here Tuesday. And we actually have a surprise that's supposed to be showing up here on Monday. So we're hoping so. Hold tight for that, guys. Cross right. your fingers, and we'll see what happens. We're hoping for Monday, so yeah. that will be a surprise video if that happens. Maybe Tuesday he'll have a thousand watt light. Nice. Double in. Oh, very good. High pressure sodium, excellent. Great. Very good. Double ended HPS. Very Hell good. Yeah. Means you can daisy chain them or something, probably. Glenn smoking some White Widow tonight. How about y'all? What are y'all smoking on? We're smoking. Gnome candy. Gnome candy. Gnome candy sour silver. Sour silver. Yeah. And that's, that's oh. from down south. Yes. Our Las Vegas branch. Yeah, yes. I had a blast with the cousin came to town. That was excellent. <laughs> Hi, Randy. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, that was great. I didn't have to cook at all. We're also going to do an update video on our map project. 
it is yeah, grown, it's been a while since we've done anything on that. It huh? has grown profusely. Yeah, uh, <laughs> profusely. <that's good. laughs> it has yeah. grown profusely. Gnome candy has gone worldwide, guys. So we're loving it. We have a very good visual on how far spread out it is. And we just want to say thank you, everybody. Thank you Hello. to everybody that has uh, pitched helped, in, helped out, helped, no fooling, donated to our channel. And um, this this map project is really amazing. Like just like it's right here on the wall. This and is just you standing guys. here, sitting here staring at it, it's like <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> you know those what is it, those electrical surveyor lines or whatever they talk about on ancient aliens around there? That's what it looks like. <laughs> Except we got to go on straight to going boing like this. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, that's, that's, that's hilarious. Can't wait to see what you guys harvest this year. And we I, can't wait to start growing it. We well, got about half of yeah, we got about half of the garden in. And, and I still haven't seen her hiding her hair of anything on the, any of them pops out there yet. But we'll keep watching. We're waiting keep for it. We're there in the process of sex, sexing yeah. them. We don't know. We don't want to put it in if it's male. And that one that that. Dave not here that's in on the deck. <laughs> it's got buds this big around on it. I mean it's this tall and it's just it's, it's going to town. Going to town. Wow. And I'm just gonna let it do it. And so <laughs> platinum dosing feminized yet? No, not yet. I actually ran out of colloidal silver and well, it'll either produce polysex or it yeah. won't. Is it, have you been doing it for as long as they recommend? Or yep, I've, I've actually I started off spraying it once a day. It just says on the on the bottle to spray it once a day. Okay. But after a little while, I started spraying it twice a day. Once in the morning, early early in the morning, mm -hmm. and then once later on in the evening after I get home from work and everything. Um, yeah, but it's, it's budding up nice. I, I think I might have seen a couple pods. That look like they might be pods. Just have to wait and see. But I'll have to go show you and okay. and we'll see if we'll we can get close enough to take point them out. So. Yeah, take a good look. I didn't really want to take it off and look at it. And just kind of no, leave it on there and hope for the best. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, mm. I ran out. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have to get another bottle of colloidal, colloidal silver and yeah, just to try out. Yeah. We'll try it again. Anyway, what we got? Get a little slow down time here, doesn't it? Sounds great. Oh, yeah, well, no, let's go. Girl Scout Cookie Brownies. Yes, there it is, and they're still a special warm. treat. My father brought Girl Scout Cookie Brownies. Look at that. Oh, snap. Yeah, they're still a little bit brown. So right. happy we will all be harvesting this year. Hell yeah. That's what right. I'm talking about. I'm going to do some serious growing. That's some right. Some real, real resistant. How long the outdoors season? Uh, we are to the end of October. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah, uh, sometime in the middle of November if you got yeah. a, a strain that won't, we've, won't bud too easy. We have gone to the end of November before. Yeah. And... Sometimes the weather holds up, you know. Yeah. I mean, it gets cold, but it holds up all the way to the end. Perfect. I couldn't just leave the whole tray at home. I mean, <laughs> it was too hot. So this was made with the harvest that you did with the Girl Scout cookie plants on your deck, right? That's right. Hell yeah. yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Really? Yeah, that was fun, too. Enjoy them. Huh. Uh, mine's it's about uh, August to September, your growth season. Hmm. Glenn, from now till November. Yep. Mom, not just to send me a brownie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see why not. Right? <laughs> brownie. Um, for areas that have, you know, a relatively short outdoor growing season, you know, Maine, um, places like that, uh, a little higher up in Portland, um, along that, along that line of, <laughs> yeah, along that line, anyway, uh, the, holy shit, that was amazing, 
Sorry. <laughs> Space myself. <laughs> um, starting your plants in, indoors and, and having them this tall, you know, and trained once or twice before you put them out about now or maybe the early couple weeks of June, that right there will in, double the size of the plants that will generally come out of that, that uh, 12 or 14 week outdoor growing time, you know, for that area. So if you're in an area where your, your lights are extreme like that, start them indoors, you know, and everything, and then put them out, you know, this tall, like we did with the platinum dosi. And so by the end of your 12 week or, you know, three months of summer weather, when it starts to cool down, your plant will be bigger than the average plant I think you have or that you've grown before. So, yeah. So even with all these no candies in here, even if I get a male, all the better. No, yeah. All the better. If I get a male in here out of any of these 11 no candy plants right in here, I mean, yeah. I'm, inter I'm, I'm very interested to see how many females we get out of out of 11 seeds. That would be a good ratio for yeah. her got to see. Yeah, no, it would be nice. We've got like, you know, nine, nine females. Yeah. Out of what, 11? 11. That would be a good, a good, a good yeah. balance, yeah. Like for an unfeminized plant. 75%? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Let me, yeah, Gary Early is in the house. We're hanging out <laughs> a little bit longer tonight just because we know there's a few people that like to pop up on right at the end. That's right. Very in there. <laughs> Very Howdy, good. Steve, Glenn. I need I need one also. Getting a glass of milk now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you, yeah. This oh, is yeah, the one that uh, Brother Drew's doing up in Alaska. That that's amazing. what he's done. He started them early and now he just put them out here, you know, a couple a few days ago and they've gone out, you know, as big as they are in what, fifty seven days or something, I think he said. No, yep. maybe seventy two. Hmm. Anyway. Yeah, he's got weird light up yeah. there, so he happened to kind of direct the, the flowering of it. But I thought, I thought, I thought you, I think I did hear you say 57. So 57. Days. But still doing it like he's doing. That will, you know, putting them out this size will will increase the size of your plant for a short outdoor growing system or season. So don't be afraid to try it next next year or something. Nick, you're gonna try Femme spray by Mendocino on eBay one day. Yeah. Was that one probably, of the things that yeah, probably I really really similar to the colloidal silver? Hmm. I'll check it up on it then. Mm -hmm. Twenty Mendocino. <laughs> and try this fern spray. Uh, oh, Minwa! I'm growing a Mendocino seed cream, cream caramel, large amounts of tree flowers. Nice. <laughs> cool. Mm -hmm. Cream caramel. That sounds really that good. Sounds Smooth. Uh, I'm a caramel idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that does sound smooth. It sounds mm -hmm. like a smooth strain. Like that, you can take a really huge hit, and it's just so Werther's caramel. So smooth. <laughs> That's right, Werther's <laughs> caramel. Yeah. That's funny. Hell <laughs> yeah. You know, I was sitting at home all by myself here the other night. I mean, I'm sitting there, I'm watching TV and stuff. And something came on TV and it just, it reminded me of coming home from work and you and, and Travis upstairs playing, <laughs> playing your video games. And after you got your homework done, stuff like that, and I was sitting there just starting to load bongs, you know, for you guys. And I noticed that you took a bong hit and put your player on there, start playing with your toes and took your bong hit and Kick played the game. Relax and hit it. Still and then, play the game. And then Travis did the same thing. I Oh, yeah. That was totally awesome. Back in the day. Playing with their toes. Keep the game going. Multitasking. Long, long. Multitasking. <laughs> and this, they were playing um, 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 Celebrity Deathmatch. Oh, I fucking love that show. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was that's one movie. I thought was really good celebrity one. Celebrity Deathmatch. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. Uh, Pop that brownie. Look good. Oh, man. The, yeah. These are, these are amazing. Mm. <laughs> Hell yeah. Very good. Go for it, brother dear. Uh, yeah, five of mine better than one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you got five plants, you still think you'll have plenty of plenty of work at the end of the year. That's right, because 
like I said, the closer you get to harvest, the faster the ball rolls. I'm kidding you. Right. And all of a sudden, it's not just an, a half an hour or, or something like that to clean out your plant. You know, I mean, sometimes it takes two days because you, when you're doing a big plant, you really don't want to take off more than about a, a third. I'm just guessing, but a, I would say a third of the foliation to so you don't really shock the plant where it's going to stop for a few days. So about a third, I wouldn't go any more than half at, at a time. Because that really does shock the plant. Yeah. And then, you know, but you're having to split the plant up to do it. So uh, just to save shock on your plant. So right. that's right. And let's see, <laughs> we'll be redoing videos on spraying, keeping down the bug, bug pests yeah. in the yeah. garden. And we just uh, got a simple hand pump, one gallon bug it, sprayer. And it has the adjustable nozzle on the end, end right. which is great for spraying the underneath sides. That's right. We got a couple good, really good HEPA filter type masks that uh, really aren't full face, but they do cover everything and they make you work for your breathing. So you <laughs> take about everything out of the air. So. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, guys, we're going to get out of here. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to go show my father the platinum dosi outside That's good. and um, and then we'll make sure we get a couple other videos put up there so you guys can see what we're going to work on that right around the corner. Yeah. Remember, guys, hit that like, subscribe. Remember to hit the bell or this little fast symbol right here in the video. And you get our next videos. Cool. <laughs> Stay tuned. We love you guys. Um, awesome. Safe weekend.